Hello and welcome to my second look inside Vertical Response. What I'd like to show you today is their amazing new email builder. This is very cool. So, I am logged into my account. I'm on the home page and I'm going to click on new email to get the process started. What will come up is their page that talks about the new email builder. Last time I clicked no thanks, this time I'm going to click start now which will get me into it. First thing we do is put in a name for our email. This is for your purposes only. You're the only one that sees it. This, however, is the subject line. And I'm going to call it New Email Builder. Oops. Uh, new Email Builder, that's what I'll call it. Okay. Down here, if you haven't done it in your uh, main account, we need to put in an address. It has to be a physical address. This is a made up one for the purposes of this video. And we hit next. What it does is saves that information and gives you the options. These are the options we saw last time over here. And we also had an email wizard, but this is the new one now. So we're going to click next to use the email wizard. And it sets up the um, editor for you. It gives, the first thing it gives you is the chance to select a template. There are a number of categories over here that you can choose from. There are three pages of categories. Lots of different templates that you can choose from. Here are just some examples in the business category. Now as you look at these you'll see there are two different kinds. One is just a simple template like this and this one those are the images and the pictures and the colors that you'll have if you choose that email. If you choose one of these, however, like this one, it says fully editable. That means you can change the colors. So to show you that, I'm going to select this template, just as an example to show you around. And what they give you are editing modes, uh, blocks that you can uh, edit. So the first one is the headline. You would put your headline in here. There's a picture here which is easily changed. You go over here to add image, change image, and then you are given the option to upload an image from your computer. You can use an existing image that you've already loaded into your account, or you can paste in a URL of an image that is um, hosted somewhere else. I'm not going to do that right now. I just wanted to show you where it is. And then in the body of the email, what they have are blocks that you can type in. So this is one block here. There's another one down here. Let's say, though, that I only want one main block on my email. I can go down here, click on this, remove this content item, and it'll take it right out. You can do the same thing here, remove this content item. Let's say I want to leave this one for a little reminder at the end, that's fine. All of the information you see here is editable. You can click in here and change your phone numbers, change the email address, change what's in the sidebar here. If you want to put in an image, you click on that box. When you see the little boxes, you know it's editable. You can go over here and add an image just like we did at the top. Then, what I want to show you up here is the overall style. If you click on that down arrow, it gives you the chance to change the colors. You can change the colors in the um, sidebar. So let's pick a blue, let's say. Select that color, and now when we go back, our sidebar is that bright blue. Not sure I would pick that color for a real email, but that's, this is just an example. They also have all of the usual things to change the text, text color, links. Once you're finished, you go next. It will all uh, it will create the text version for you. You can preview it and then go on to the next step. So give it a shot. This is one sweet email builder. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.